AI has just received a major upgrade across the board. Google DeepMind has addressed a critical flaw in how chatbots think. Now, rather than being misled by flashy details, they're finally learning to focus on truth, logic, and what truly matters. In China, researchers have turned a weak math model into a reasoning powerhouse capable of competing with the smartest AI systems out there. Meanwhile, Meta has launched a billion-dollar AI super team, bringing in talent from OpenAI, DeepMind, and Anthropic. Microsoft has developed a medical AI system that diagnoses patients four times more accurately than human doctors. And if that's not enough, Xiaomi has released smart glasses that outperform Meta's Ray-Bans with features like voice control, real-time translation, and even pay-by-glance technology. It's been an exciting week in AI, so let's break it all down. Let's start with the major fix from DeepMind, Chrome fixes chatbot judgment. You know how AI models are trained to give answers we prefer? They rely on a system called a reward model to determine what's good. But the problem is, these reward models often get it wrong. They might reward answers just because they're longer, sound nicer, or use fancy formatting, even if they aren't accurate or helpful. To solve this, DeepMind collaborated with researchers from McGill University and MA to create a new system called Chrome. Chrome stands for Causally Robust Reward Modeling. But what really matters is how it works. Rather than training the model on random examples, they taught it the difference between what makes an answer truly good, like being factual or logical, and what just looks good, like being polite or long-winded. They did this by creating pairs of answers. Some of these pairs changed something important, like whether the facts were accurate. These are called causal augmentations. Others only change the style or tone without touching the facts. These are called neutral augmentations. By showing the model both types and training it to react only when the quality really changes, it learns to focus on what's important and ignore distractions. They use Gemini 2.0 to generate these examples and a high-quality dataset called Ultra Feedback to guide the process with real human opinions. To test it, they tried this on three different language models, Gemini 2.9 billion, Quinn 2.57 billion, and a smaller Gemini 2.2 billion. They ran them through a few challenges, one called Reward Bench to see how well the models rank answers, another called Reword Bench to add sneaky distractions to test their focus, and a third called Wild Guard Test to see how safe the models are when answering dangerous or harmful prompts. The results were impressive. Chrome made the models more accurate, especially in areas like safety up by about 13% and reasoning up by around 7%. Even when the test tried to trick the models with distracting styles, Chrome held up better than the usual reward models. When given multiple answers to choose from, Chrome was better at avoiding harmful content without becoming overly cautious. So, what's the takeaway? Chrome teaches AI to focus on what truly matters in an answer and ignore the fluff. This could make future chatbots far more helpful, honest, and safe. Now, remember when self-driving cars seemed like sci-fi back in 2019? Now, over 400,000 Teslas drive themselves every single day. And while no one was really paying attention, AI adoption exploded by 270% in just three years. Companies that were once skeptical of AI are now 15% more productive than their competitors. McKenzie predicts that AI will add $13 trillion to the global economy by 2030, but it will also force 375 million people to switch careers. These roles will demand serious AI skills. That's why I'm inviting you to an exclusive, free, two-day live AI training by OutSkill. Normally priced at $895, it's now completely free for my audience. This is not a boring lecture. It's 16 hours of immersive, hands-on learning spread over three days. You'll learn prompt engineering, master over 20 powerful AI tools, automate your workflow, analyze data without writing code, and even create your own AI agents. It's built for professionals in tech, business, marketing, HR, sales, and more. People from over 40 countries have already joined, and if you're serious about growing with AI, you should definitely join too. 
click the link in the description to grab your free seat now. Don't forget to join their WhatsApp community for updates. The intro session starts Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there! While Google DeepMind focused on making AI answers align more with human values, researchers at Shanghai Xiaong OctoThinker focused on something else, raw thinking power. They wanted models that could handle tough problems, especially in math, using proper step-by-step -step reasoning, called chain of thought. We already know that some models like DeepSeq R10 and Simple RL benefited from reinforcement learning when trained to think in steps. That trick worked well on the Quen family of models, but when they tried it on the Llama family of models, things got weird. Instead of getting smarter, Llama's answers just became overly long, up to 4,000 tokens, without actually being more accurate. So, the team realized the real issue wasn't the reinforcement learning itself, it was how the base model had been trained beforehand. Their fix, a two-phase training plan called Stable Then Decay. In the first phase, they trained the model on 200 billion tokens of high-quality math data from a set called MegaMath Web Pro. Once that training stabilized, they split the model into three branches, each focusing on different types of math and reasoning questions, with about 20 billion tokens per branch. They named this new model family OctoInker because each version focuses on a different type of thinking. The long version keeps all the detailed reasoning steps, the short version trims it down, and the hybrid version finds a middle ground. It's like giving the model three different study styles and seeing which one performs best. They tested all three versions on well-known math benchmarks, including GSM 8K, Math 500, Olympia Bench, and even the 2023 American Math Competition. Across the board, every OctoInker version outperformed the original Llama model by at least 10%. The long version even matched Quen's performance, which is impressive because Quen is known for excelling in step-by-step -step reasoning, the big win here, OctoInker didn't fall into the trap of long, messy answers. Its responses stayed clean and focused, while regular Llama models rambled when subjected to reinforcement learning. The researchers believe this shows that if you train the base model right first, reinforcement learning can build on that and actually improve performance, rather than just adding noise. Looking ahead, they want to expand OctoInker with even more advanced capabilities like scratchpad tools and math checkers. They're also pushing for larger, cleaner math datasets since most of the current ones are still under 100 billion tokens. The goal is to build models that are ready for smart reasoning straight out of the box without needing extra patchwork training later. Now, news of smarter models leads to a hiring frenzy. Meta is racing hard to catch up. Mark Zuckerberg recently announced Meta Super Intelligence Labs in an internal memo made public by reporters. This newly formed group consolidates all of Meta's frontier AI work under one roof. The company spent billions to lure top talent, including Alexander Wang from Scale AI, who became the chief AI officer. Other hires include Nat Friedman, former GitHub CEO, and 11 senior researchers from Anthropic, OpenAI, and Google DeepMind. Meta also explored acquiring Mira Marathi's Thinking Machines Lab, search engine startup Perplexity, and Ilya Sutskever's Safe Superintelligence Venture. Though those talks didn't lead to binding offers, Zuckerberg's memo revealed that the lab will start researching the next generation of models, aiming to reach the frontier in the next year or so. Meta wants to leapfrog existing AI technologies rather than just catching up. Given the talent pool, Meta's comeback bid looks serious. On Microsoft's end, their AI is outshining human doctors. Their MAI DXO system, which orchestrates multiple AI models to generate diagnostic plans, has been a major breakthrough. The system works like a panel of experts debating a diagnosis. It queries multiple models, OpenAI, Google, Gemini, Anthropic, Claude, Meta, Llama, XAI, Grok, and blends their responses into a single plan. They tested it using 304 real-world case studies from the New England Journal of Medicine. In these cases, MAIDXO achieved an impressive 80% diagnostic accuracy, 
four times better than a panel of human doctors. It also saved costs by selecting cheaper scans and blood tests when possible. MIT's David Sontag and Scripps researchers Eric Toppel praised the study's rigor, but noted that live clinical trials are needed to truly verify its abilities. Microsoft has yet to finalize commercialization plans, though insiders hint at future Bing integrations for self-triage and professional tools to automate patient workups. The company has also quietly hired several high-profile researchers from Google, highlighting the competition in the AI talent market. Meanwhile, in the world of hardware, Xiaomi has entered the smart glasses game. Their glasses feature AI functions, including real-time translation and object identification. The glasses have a Qualcomm AR1 chip and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera for first-person video and photos. You can even make payments with just a glance, thanks to their pay-by-glance functionality. They boast 8.6 hours of use, significantly outlasting Meta's Ray-Bans, which top out at 4 hours. The glasses also feature open-ear stereo speakers, five microphones for voice control, and electrochromic lenses that darken in seconds. Priced between $280 and $420, Xiaomi's glasses offer more endurance and features than Meta's offering, though the first release is aimed at the domestic market, not global rollout. Wand. So now the big question remains. Will all of this make AI more practical or just more powerful? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.